When building your device for the tech challenge, a power drill will come in handy. Power drills are used to drill holes and drive screws. We're gonna show you how to do both. Before you begin using your power drill, be sure to have your drill bits, driver bits, screws, clamps, wood, and wear your safety goggles. Remember to have a parent or advisor present when using tools. Advisors, it is your job to make sure your builders are following proper safety procedures. Before we get started, let's go over the parts of the power drill. Grip, trigger, chuck, torque control, gear selector, battery. Most cordless power drills have a detachable battery pack that is inserted at the base of the handle. Be sure your battery is fully charged so you don't lose power in the middle of your project. If you run into trouble, refer to the user manual. Let's start with how to insert and change a bit in your chuck. Insert your bit into the chuck. Turn clockwise to tighten and counterclockwise to loosen. A helpful phrase to remember is righty tighty, lefty loosey. Turn the chuck counterclockwise and loosen or open up the jaws. Insert the drill bit and tighten by hand, turning clockwise, making sure that the drill bit is centered evenly and that the jaws are touching the bit. Turn until you hear a click to indicate the clutch is locked. Some power drills may not have a clutch and come with a key to lock the chuck. Insert the bit and use the key to lock it in place. Be sure to consult the owner's manual if you are unsure. Next, select the correct gear setting that corresponds to the task you are trying to perform. For drilling holes, place your drill on setting two. To drill a hole, hold the drill in your preferred hand with your index or middle finger ready to press the trigger. Use your free hand to hold the top of the drill so it doesn't wobble when you start it. Always be aware of the surface under the material you are drilling. You do not want to drill holes into your table. If possible, use clamps to hold your wood steady and make sure to have scrap wood under what you are drilling. To drive a screw, select the right driver bit. We are using a Phillips head driver bit that matches our screw head. Next to the clutch, you will find a series of numbers that can be adjusted. These settings are primarily for driving screws. The lower the number, the more ideal the setting is for driving screws into softer materials. Higher clutch settings allow you to drill into more dense materials. Using the proper torque setting will ensure the screw head is flush with the wood. With harder materials, you may need to drill a pilot hole before driving your screw. We've just covered the basics here. There are a lot of different drills and a lot of different materials that you can use them with. If you have a question about your specific drill, consult your manual or have an adult help you. For more resources, visit our website.